This game's rated E for everyone. The commentary may not reflect this rating. Hello everyone, welcome back to you. Stuart Little 2 for the PS1, I'm not a graph. Uh, full disclosure, I actually beat the game already, but I had to go back because apparently the footage got corrupted. At least it's corrupted on my editing program, so... I've beaten this level already, so I know what's go what goes on in it. I apologize for that, but every other level seems to be fine, so... At least on that end, we're good. Hey, we're gonna Stuart. do a little mini game here. I'll be very impressed if you can beat this challenge. Y will you? I'll be very impressed if you can pull off excited. Alright. This is pretty easy. You just push the analog stick on the direction you the star is and it's and you grab the star. It's pretty forgiving. Again, this is a kids game. You uh, you you have to remember that. And kids games tend to be real easy. I could barely see that star. You don't get anything for grabbing all the stars, by the way. Not to, not to my knowledge, at least. So, I'm just grabbing because my pride must not be hurt. Okay, since easy. We're doing it. All these trees, all these small little trees, it's just... I missed one! God damn it! How could I... It ends up getting harder and harder too as you go along because... Like, I could miss two on that one, for example. Congratulations, Stuart. You, you completed, completed the, the course. course. You sounded kinda excited there. The ring. Okay. So we got, jeweled, we need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 jewel rings, 80 cat biscuits, and 6 face blocks. And the face blocks give us a jewel ring, so... We're on path. Let's go up the counter. It's good that they put those stickers there, just so I can cry. Also, look... Just... Just hear Stuart when he jumps. Sounds like he's taking a dump, it's hilarious. We need to collect face blocks as you can see. Excellent hunting, There's Stuart. We need to collect face blocks block. to get up there. Because it'll become platforms. And it's an easy concept to understand. Again, kids games fine. Also I find it funny that there are black ow. I cannot die here. Come on. This is the first level and I beat the game alright. I've been through harder stuff. Jesus. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. Uh, I find it funny that there's Black Widows in here. Since this is supposed to be New York, right? Isn't Black Widows like a, a southern... Uh, uh, a southern thing? Where you find more Black Widows in the south part of America than... Anywhere else? I don't think there are actually Black Widows in New York. I might be wrong, though. Alright, this should be easy enough. We just grab onto the... I say, we should just grab onto the line there and we're good, but... Also, this cutscene will play every time we get a face block. I hate my job. Alright, we're gonna go through the vent. Oh, right, we can also run if I hold R1. Okay. And th there are actually, even though the formula repeats a lot in this game, I've I had a lot of fun with it. Just gonna put that out there right now. Alright, we need the key. Uh, do I remember where the key is? Uh, unlikely. But I know it's somewhere later in the house, so we're gonna go here first. Also, this music. Uh, the music in this game can get really repetitive. But it's stuck, stuck in my head till now. It's gonna be stuck in my head forever. At least it's not Wispix Race, and if you know what I'm talking about, 
Wisp Steam. Pa 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 pa. Just from doing that, it's already in your head forever. If you know what it is. Uh, sorry. Excellent. Also Hunting about that. Stuart. You have found a face block. When I. It took me like 20 minutes to beat this the first time. Let's see how much time it takes me now. I can't help but feel like this is the largest level the game has. <laughs> Going under stuff. Uh, that's the face block, right? Yeah, so we're gonna go there later. What we need now is to get into the sofas. Jump for great victory! Victory! The real question is, can I do this in a timely fashion? Oh, another mini game. I actually, I actually oh, like these mini games as dumb as they are. So basically, we must collect all the star tokens and we can move left to right. The plane will auto adjust the height. So we just need to follow the arrow, basically. Although if it goes in a very, I would say, predictable pattern, so you usually know where it's where you need to go. Also, you get like time ups for every single one you get, so you have to be trying to to fail these. And there's nothing for you to hit in this one either, so. Wow, that was a flying and extravaganza, Stuart. You managed to complete the entire course. The entire Go course. Take your jeweled ring. Well done, Stuart. All right, we open a new level. To open up level two. No, I'll go later. Snowbell, he can send you to the next level. Basically, we can go to the next level every time we get like two rings, I think. Every two rings, we get, we open a new level, which is fine. It works. It's a a mechanic that's there, and it works fine. I I actually. This game you can actually beat if you don't. You can actually skip some levels and never play them. If you complete levels early on, uh, the, I know you can skip one level at least and do the final boss. And I, I'm fine with that. It's good for kids because kids might have a first rain time, and. That's like uh, Shigeru Miyamoto actually said, I think, in an interview, that the reason why completing the Nintendo games is so hard is because they they want beating the game to be easy for kids, you know. But oh shoot, they want the game to be easy to beat so kids have still have fun, but they want the game to be hard to complete so that the the rest of the family can also enjoy it, you know. And I, f I find that that's a really good philosophy to have. If you're gonna make a kid's game, uh, a family game, not a kid's game to be exact. If you're gonna make a, f uh, a family game, that's the best way to go about it. You basically you you make <laughs> smooth, smooth Stuart. Just like the rum you were avoiding there. And if you make like a certain challenges that are hard if the kid is able to do it he'll have a he might have a frustrating time but he'll still have fun because they're supposed to be harder for the older crowd uh, we're finding ice cream here but I don't think we found the uh, ones that oh my camera is is inactive why isn't it turning Weird. There we go. If you ever played Mario Galaxy 2, you know what I mean by completing the game is hard. Because the last galaxies, goddamn. Also, some of the combat medals are really hard. Oh, this is the slots. So if you grab, if you break ice, or the ice, if you break the blue suitcases, you you get extra life slots and you can get up to five. Uh, but they do disappear when you die, so... 
Uh, is there anything else? There is one more. Ha. Huh. And anyway, Galaxy 2, it's really hard to complete. But it's not really that hard to beat. Uh, the first Mario Galaxy is even easier to beat. You don't... You need, I think, half of the stars that are in the game to, to be... To get to Bowser. I think you need 70 out of... How many? Uh, 120 something? I don't remember exactly. It's been a long time. I, I haven't had a Wii for years now. So I don't remember how much, how many stars you needed. But it was like half, half of them, I think. Yes! I've done it! I've collected enough cat biscuits for Snowbell to trade with Monty for another ring. You know, I think I know what happened. Where was that cat bowl again? To Margalo's excitement. Basically, Margalo. She... Stuart stole all of her excitement because he's always so excited to do anything in this game. Damn. Uh, and... Where were we going? Oh, right. We're gonna go... Out. Okay. Wasn't my plan. I didn't want to get hit by a Black Widow. What other... I feel like... Metroid isn't a good example because I think Metroid is for teenagers, right? It's more for teenagers, so it does have a... It's very a very difficult game. Uh, F-Zero is a racing game, so... Really. It is difficult, though. Uh, the I know the GameCube, GameCube one is a very difficult game. Right, we go here and climb the candle. There's no wicker in this candle. No wick. I think that's what it's called, a wick. The little string that's in the candle. Excellent so like hunting, Stuart. I've been drinking since 6 a.m. And what other games? Uh, I think that's it, actually. Now that I... Ah, oh, God damn it, I remember this. I got stuck on this for a while. But I'll, I'll do it. You'll see. Uh, never mind. I guess I won't do it. <laughs> oh, shit. But, you know what? This is a kid's game, not a graph. You can do it. That's a really hard jump, though. It's a it's a pixel-perfect jump. Just for one biscuit that I don't even need, technically. Okay, I can do it. I did it, Reddit! I did it! Also, I forgot about this button. I think this is where the key is, actually. If I remember it right. No, it's not. This is where there's a life and two biscuits. One day... Oh, oh no, the key is on the other corner of the room, right. I remember now. And by the end of the game, this game, you have a lot of lives. You have more than enough lives that you ever need. The last face block is right here, too. Stuart went a little spastic. The, I gotta say, the controls are... Sometimes they're a little problematic. No, you're, you're not... You're Michael J. Fox, not Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Stuart, come on. Okay, I think... How many biscuits do we have now? Uh, these are the last ones too. Whew. So we're doing good time. We're doing very good time. But I still think this will be the longest of the levels I do. I, I it's just so much this is a level. I think they try to get you accustomed to the mechanics really early. So the first level is really long. They're gonna teach us about lives on this one. I'm not actually gonna talk to Margalo. We already went to the tutorial, right? So we're fine. Okay, I don't know, the other side should be the key? Yeah, the key is right there. Where's Margalo again? That's the kitchen, right? Yeah. Let's have a look here, though. Uh, the golden suitcase, which I know where it is, I know where it is, I know where it is. And we have everything, basically. I just have to go get them. So we're gonna get Snowbells first. The now the biscuits one where we take the key to the golden suitcase. What an adventure. Where we grab 60 biscuits. 60 biscuits for a for a ring. 
also forgetting every single one, you don't get anything, by the way. Yes, Jeweled. You've collected another jeweled ring. She almost sounded excited there. And um for the 20 extra biscuits you get, you don't get anything. Anything at all. Which is kinda disappointing, but it's fine. You know, it's to make it easier on kids again, so I'm fine with that. Like I shouldn't complain that a game that wasn't really made for my de for my demographic to be too easy, you know? If a game is easy for kids, it's easy because it's for kids. I shouldn't complain because I'm a, a grown-ass man, right? Way to go, Stuart. We You've have completed, completed the, the level 100%. 100%. You'll have to visit Snowbell and explore more levels. Anyway. Hmm. Do I want to visit my old pal? We completed the level. Uh, I'm going to be save. As you can see, I have completed the level before. So, uh, as I have 100% save, I'm gonna save it there. And next time we'll be doing Central Park. I'll see you guys there. On the flip side, bye bye.